What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a slider in Revolution Slider WordPress plugin from the ground, from the zero point to the ready to go slider into your page, we're gonna move into this video. In another video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, I did explain how to import the slider from the demonstrative slider, so you can start with a ready-to-go slider, however, in this video we're gonna start from the bottom, once this is the best method to learn something new. So we're gonna click on the new slider module, and welcome to Revolution Slider 6. We're gonna start with the guide, it's always good to have a guide. The first option is the model of the slider to create. We're gonna use a slider. Next step. Now the size of the model. We're gonna use the full widget. And now the adjusting in the mobile devices. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I will explain how to change and edit the slider into mobile device sizes. However, we're gonna use the intelligent option. And here we have this Revolution Slider plugin interface into our WordPress website. The first things to look at is the title. This is the very first option that you should have a look and change the slider title. I'm gonna name the slider as learn and the slider alias name this can have this can't have spaces but I use learn as well now we're gonna go to the layout this is what we have choose and in addition here we can change the the slider format the sizes background options, the content, we're gonna use the normal option, the custom, however you can use the posts based, WooCommerce products, YouTube videos, Vimeo, to populate the slider, but we're gonna do it manually. The general, the screw options, There's a lot of things that we can explore in the slider general settings, but we're gonna do that later in the future videos. By now, we're gonna start with this section, and into the background, we're gonna apply an image. Into the source, we're gonna select image, and we're gonna open something into your media library. Let me put some image. If you scroll down, we're gonna find options to align the image, and change it in the case that you want. I do recommend the cover option. You can also change the position of the image. I'm gonna click on the save changes. It's always good to keep saving the progress during the edition. Now the thumbnail. It's the, it's the slider thumb that appears on the Revolution slider page. And you have way more options, but in the final tab, we have the content options. Now we're gonna apply elements into the slider. If you, go, if you look at the top options into add layer, we're gonna add a heading option. The slider open the heading text size options, some pre-build heading options, but you can close it select the heading, change the content, if you look at the sidebar into our right side, change the position of the content, the style, as example the font size, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I'll explain how to play with the fonts using Revolution Slider plugin, but as you cannot see, you have the font family that you can change as well, the color of the test,
and if you go to the tab size and position you can edit the global position of the layer I'm gonna align it into the center of the slider As you can see, it's on the center. I just need to play a bit more with the slider size so it can occupy the view option, the view size of the screen. But it's on the center. And now I'm gonna move it to the top a bit. You can use the the size and position tab, or you can use your keyboard to move the layer across the slider. Now I'm gonna apply another text block, whoever this one with normal text. Once again, you can select the pre-build options. And select the color, in the case that you want. I'm gonna type something here, in the text layer content. I'm gonna align to the center, just to make sure. And now, position the layer to the center. In the bottom, next to the header. Now, I'm gonna apply some button. As you cannot see, it's gonna open a couple of button options, so we can play with. Let's pick one. Now I'm gonna move the bottom a bit down to have a nice look into the slider, save the changes and just apply the slider into a page so we can see it. This is the first steps on the slider, we're gonna work more on this slider in the future videos so stay subscribed to our YouTube channel in the case that you want to see the slider evolution. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with compatibility of, with all of those plugins and much more. And I see you later guys! All the best!